All right, here we go. We got all the parts that we pretty much need now to build the brain. Now this is what's going to control the motors and all the sensors and stuff. So let's go through what I've got here so far. So fries. Uh, most of all, we got the most of the parts at Fry's or at Radio Shack or Harbor Freight. So first thing we got up from Fry's is a four pack of fans. I was going to use this to attach uh, to the actual casing. Uh, there's these little pop holes I might use or I might just cut my own. Some grills just because I like the look. Then we have a uh, bunch of these male 25 pin connectors to try to connect the actual board to the exterior, the input and output, so we don't have to run cables in and out of the box. We also have the cable for that, this just snaps into there. Got some thermal paste, uh, that's for these bad boys here, these are the heat sinks. They're uh, just CPU fans. Let's see if I can get one going. And uh, I was going to use these to power them. I was just going to use a regular normal aluminum block, but it seems like this might be a better solution in conjunction with that. So just your normal CPU fan, one per each one of these little bad boys plug in underneath. Alright, put that away. So. Next up, we got this 12 volt, 3 volt power supply. This is to connect the fans. Um, also in case I might need a 3 volt. Now the board also comes with its own power supply, but that's a 5 volt little dealy. And let's see, we got fuses, slow burning. They didn't have any 28 or 15 amp, so I had to get 12 amp. Uh, hopefully it'll be working out okay. Fuse holders, two packs, Radio Shack individuals. Um, I don't particularly like these because they're uh, open and you could touch them across things, but hopefully I'll never be messing with these unless the power is off and unplugged. Then we actually have the power socket. Harbor Freight, a bunch of uh, heat shrink tubing, a bunch of terminal connectors, different sizes for this right here, which is this terminal block. Probably didn't need it, but I thought it would make things look pretty neat. Some random, random nuts and bolts. And then we have the piece de resistance is this uh, circuit breaker box. It is actually, let's see, a better look, a, yeah, there you go. So gutted it all out, and this is going to be the actual case for everything. I like it because it opens from the front. Uh, here's all the other cables that we had in there. I was just storing them in there. And this is with everything ripped out of it, just a clean box. Gonna be using the Dremel and stuff to cut all the holes for everything. And of course, you know the power supply, the controller board, the controllers, and the motors. So the only thing I'm waiting for right now is the uh, double pole, yeah, double pole single throw switch. Couldn't find one anywhere, so I had to wait to get it off of Amazon. Should be getting here in a couple days. All right, 